What it is, focus your homeboy first. Back again with another episode of Bring It to the Square. This is the show that whatever is on your mind, whatever is on your heart, whatever you are feeling, mm-hmm. all you gotta do is bring it to the square. Yeah. Okay. This yep. is a yep. safe space. That is my brother Tim G. Jacob that y'all see over there. T, what's happening? Hey man, just you know, out here living, just watching watching the gas prices go back up. They going back up. Fuck OPEC. Let's start off like that. Fuck OPEC. I saw they cutting production, and these folks want to. Uh, I keep up with all that shit, America. Trying to okay? push it to the electric side. Yeah, I, 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 I keep up with all that. Okay, but uh, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because you about to agree with what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna hit y'all with some real shit. Okay, finish that with some real shit. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's right. go ahead and get into it. Together. All right, I've been thinking about this long and hard for a long time. I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a different kind of thinker, right? I think people who who watch uh, any of my videos should grasp that by now, okay? If you don't know by now, Melvin if told you. Don't oh, Melvin told you. By now. Good shit, Melvin way. told you. That's why I'm scared to smoke weed. That's one of the reasons. Because the, the, the sober shit I be thinking about, the sober shit I be thinking about lets me know that if I was high, I, I sure enough be on some other shit. But this is what I got to. All right. Silent letters turn people into sheep. That's what they do. Silent letters and words turn people into sheep into followers, into people that don't question things, into people who just accept life rather than challenge life. Let me explain. One of my most prized pupils, Miss Tanaska Sheree Williams, shout out. I love this young lady. This young lady hit me up the other day and she would tell me about her two boys. And her boys, like, they question shit. Like, they, they kill math, because math is math, right? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to their reading, and they're trying to process shit based on the shit that you've taught them. Right. You gave them the, the phonics and all that kind of shit. Say, this means that, and this sounds like that. And then, so they're seeing that hey this don't make no sense they are right america they are right every time i read to my daughter we read a book and come across a word and that word looks the the pronunciation of the word looks uh uh, sounds nothing like the word looks right and both me and my baby get frustrated i had to tell my baby baby i know you right that that sucks that that's but that's just the way it is. America, the (laughs) moment we start telling our children, that's just the way it is. When it comes to silent letters and words, that's the moment we start telling our children to accept this bullshit out here. Can I, can I, can I have an example? What, 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 what was the word? Can I have, can I? Pick a word, T. I'm just saying, give me, give me something. Take the word, take the word no to know something. Okay, I know a lot of shit. Okay, mm-hmm. K N O W. Okay, right. You got two letters in there that ain't got no business goddamn being there. What is that K doing there? What is that W being doing there? What is it doing? It's okay. just sitting there. It adds nothing of value to the word, but we sit them there, and if, and them, look, 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 hit the thing, hit the kill. Okay. Right, Let's think. say a child was in school having to read aloud. Right. And let's say that child comes across the word on the board and that child said, canal. If that child said canal, everybody gonna bust out like, oh, you can't read. No, that motherfucker's a critical thinker. That motherfucker say, that what it looked like. That would okay. it look like okay. that's what y'all taught me. Okay. If okay. we start telling people to accept bullshit very, very early. I got you. Okay. If you can count the word bike, 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 and Nike look just alike. They do. But because we've been ta- taught 
to accept this bullshit, what is that E doing there on bike? Just sitting there? Is it here alone for the ride? Whoever created the language decided, oh, B uh, B I K don't look good enough. Just throw an E on there for a little razzle dazzle. No, motherfucker. If it has no value to the word, leave it off. It, 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 I'll be thinking about. We just accept shit in life in general. This is a microcosm of the shit we just accept. And see, they all be saying, people be coming at me sideways all the time about stuff, like by the way I talk or whatever, because I don't accept shit for like it is, okay? People, oh, cut the people get oh, so bent out of shape in my comment section because I cuss. That's because they have been taught that this means you're bad if you do that. We just accept shit, and I'm not one of those people, right, okay? Right, so right, America, right. when you're teaching your babies to read, if they come across a word and they come across a word that has some silent letters in it, you know, some right. shit like that, and they refuse to just uh, uh, sit there and be a sheep or be a pawn, and they say, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna say it the way it looks. Right, why right. else is it there? Don't just chastise them and think that, oh, my baby must be dyslexic, my baby is a struggling reader. No, your baby might just be on to some shit. Your baby might just be one of these people who does not accept bullshit. You got a critical thinker on your hands. So be proud of that kid. So, 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 so how are we supposed to take like knife? Look at that. And, Look at that word. Okay, take like, knife. Okay. Who made it? Who made the word? We that don't know. We don't what, know. Okay, T, what was yeah. he doing or she? They right. just sat there and said, I just. What's the K? The K and the E have no value. They just there for the ride. But then if we take them out, we just got NIF. Pronounce it as knife. Say it's a long eye. Say it's a long eye. Black people, we stay tricking out this shit. We trick out this English language all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But this part, whoever wanted to get cute and throw that, that K and the E on there for no fucking reason. It's like I said to one of my balls. I was saying, that, you know, slick double entendre. Ooh, dope ass shit. When I was talking about these fuck boys out here, I was saying, you visible, but you don't matter like a silent letter. That's mm. how some of these motherfuckers out here are, T. They right. visible. I see you. I see your comments, you fuck boys and bitches out there that might be trying to talk crazy. This visible, but you don't matter. It's right, like right. a silent letter. Okay? Right. So remove them. They should have been removed, but okay, they there. They're there. Mm -hmm. We got to deal with it. But please, just, all I'm saying is, don't come down on your children who who see things a different way. That's the bigger picture of this whole yeah, thing. That's the problem. Of that's it. the that's bigger the picture. Problem. When they start to question you <clears throat> or question life, question things about the government, question things about the school, question things about the church, don't just tell them, don't ask that. Don't ask that question. Just do what you're told. Don't Hold do up. that. Some of these small kids want an explanation. Some of these small children <laughs> want to be taught. They want to know the underpinnings, the underworkings of things. You left one off You when they question you because you you got crazy, questionable behavior. When you and when the kid you in the room has actually got more, got, more, got more sense than you. It ain't even got to be uh, questionable behavior. Children just want to know why you might have done that. Yeah. Children might yeah, just yeah. want to know why you use this to cut the grass. Why you use that to weed eat? Why you I using got, that to cook? I why you using it? Yeah, yeah, kids are inquisitive. I and I, 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 this, I ain't just going to say America. This is a global thing. When we have inquisitive children who want to question shit, folks like to try to shut them up. Yeah. You are stifling them. You are stifling their growth. Stop that shit. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. You know, a lot of it, a lot of it is just that most people have been conformed to accept conformity. There it is. It is. I mean, so you know, but um, conformity. But you know, I mean, there's there's gems and there's gems and certain things that kids say. You know, there's there's things when kids see stuff, they seeing it from a pure standpoint. They don't they don't know no better. They just, hey, you know, this is the information y'all gave me, and this is what I believe this to be. You know, be it whatever, like with the TV or reading or how you learn something. You know, it kills me with how they how they handle these kids now with math. 
Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, why why are we flipping the game on math? This stuff done worked all these years, and now somebody want to get real creative with the math now. Do things that go 12 miles around to get the answer and instead of just going, you know, three feet to get the answer. Like, why we got to do that? Why we got to mess these kids up with that? I don't know. Now, with the math, maybe they being innovative. I don't know. My mind don't work like you got more of a math mind than mine. Now, I did great in math, okay, but it didn't come as easy to me as linguistics, but I don't know. You 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 can tell me better than that. But I know with some of this shit, folks don't want to make no changes. Folks, like when they see a child want to do something a different way, they try to stop it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And, and that's what I'm getting there with this. Stop making these kids some goddamn sheep and conformists. I really like that word. That word hit me in the face freshman year of college in somebody's class. Who fucking class was I in? It had to be an English class. Probably. Uh, and we were talking about something. I think the military came up and just mm. how people just, no matter what, don't be questioning shit that the mili- military do. And my freshman year in college, now we really had just got into Iraq. You feel me? Right. You know, I graduated 2003. So that fall, I ain't had to take an English class. So it had to be spring 04. I'm in somebody's English class. And so, you know, war in Iraq really just getting kicked off. And nobody's questioning what the fuck is going on. And that war turned out to be one of the most grave mistakes in American history. But on this sheep shit, folks conforming. Yeah. Folks just rolling with the tide. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck that shit. Yeah. All right. And so silent letters is where it starts. But the shit can stop. So <laughs> shout out to Tanaska Williams. Shout out to her twin boys. I told her straight up and said, your baby's just, hey, they just some ones that, that don't accept bullshit. They going to be all right. And I, I'm proud of her because she's a concerned parent. She was really worried. She said, no, yeah. you know, they're going to they gonna be all right because me and my baby go through the same thing. And my baby, one of the best readers in the state of Mississippi, she, got, she didn't miss a single word. Uh, uh, not a single word, a single question, I should say, on her reading state test. Very right. proud of my baby. Very, very, right. very proud of my baby, America. But don't play with me. Don't think because I'm up here saying this. Well, I bet, I bet his baby can't read. He just, no, 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 no. Silent letters or not, my baby gonna know what them words mean, motherfuckers. You understand right. me? Right, you know right. how to say them, spell them, and knows what they mean. Though, so don't play with me. And my son, a bad motherfucker too. Don't play him either. No doubt. That's bring right. It, bring it to the square. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?